Uh, okay. Here's a song by a gay guy. Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash, and last time we got in Joker, the jester who apparently surprised us all with a really nice Elite Smash run with the help of Arsene doing some major damage in the process. And with our Road to Elite Smash winding down, we only have one huge series that we haven't covered in actually a really long time. It is the Pokemon series. So far we've done Greninja, we have done Incineroar, we have done a lot of different characters. So, but today we're going to be doing the Jigglypuff as a character you probably don't expect to see too much. And Jigglypuff, while having a few drawbacks, I think will be really fun. This flower hibiscus is going to be a really nice skin, so we're going to go ahead and Maybe blow some people up. <laughs> Alright, like, well, looks like we have Yunling first. And I don't think that's a really too good of a matchup for me, but we're gonna go ahead and show you Jigglypuff's moveset. So to start, uh, well, what I was doing there was is actually Jigglypuff's neutral beat, which is rollout, and yeah, Young Link is just doing uh, the amount of the stuff that you would think a Young Link would be doing. All right, so that is Jigglypuff's four throw, uh, the best of his throws, and that was that throw. You're not gonna really see it too much, and unfortunately, we do die. Jigglypuff. It being the balloon Pokemon is really, really light. So we're gonna have to see if Jigglypuff can get a nice downer there. That was Jigglypuff's up tilt. There's Psype Pound. All right, nice F smash. All right, we're gonna go oh, out with the Nair. Jigglypuff relies very much on getting those aerial edge guards, as Jigglypuff also has the most jumps out of any character in the game. Nice parry on that down air. But yeah, we're trying to have some trouble approaching okay. with that down air. But there it is. Uh, I'll try to get him with a rollout again. Oh. He's got a nice S match to combat that. Rollout is actually a really good move, and if we're able to get it off, probably not on this young lake. That's his up B. Sorry, her up B. Now, Jigglypuff doesn't have a very good recovery. If that is her up B. Oh. It is made up of the fact that, unfortunately, while we died, Jigglypuff has a really good directional air dodge, and again, the most jumps in the game, so even though Jigglypuff is getting that up air and not going to live from those heights, we're still going to be able to. Um, we're really missing that. Ah! Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Already off to a great start. Yan Ling made it really scary at 118, but Jigglypuff able to just clutch out and don't sleep on her. All right, looks like for our final match, it is going to be Donkey Kong, the balloon versus the monkey. I think this is going to be a pretty interesting match to see. So, all right, looks like he's trying to start it off with a forward air. That's not really going to work against Jigglypuff. As we do a better aerial game than Donkey Kong, and yeah, he's still trying to get us with that forward air. Maybe trying to go for the back airs now. Yeah, not too, too well. All right. All right. Did, could have gone for something else, but I'll show you a little bit later. We did go for down smash. Unfortunately, didn't hit it. But back up, nice getting it with that up, up smash. 
Now, since we're up by a sec, I'm gonna try to see if we can go over a little more of Jigglypuff's moves that we haven't gone over yet. There are still a couple moves that we're missing, including a very infamous move of Jigglypuff's. All right, make it back. And here comes the rollout. Look how much shield damage that does. It can even break a shield if you do it just right. I bet if we still had it shielded. He's right behind me, isn't he? Okay. All right, yeah, dying at 139. That's to down air. That's all right. I mean, Jigglypuff wasn't going to prepare to live that long. All right, 156. So, all right, let's see if we can get him. No down smash at ledge, but that's all right. Ooh, nice trade, getting him with a back air if you didn't see. Now, Jigglypuff's back air, similar to Monster Lucina, actually does turn Jigglypuff around. All right, so nice dare. down air. Doesn't get another down air. But get hit by the dash deck as well. He's hammering those forward airs and back airs a lot. All right, down there into up tilt. But what we're really looking for. Is Now rest, you all know Jigglypuff's infamous yeah! rest move, and the real rest combos very fast with a fastball down here into a rest to finish out this Elite Smash run. Well, looks like Jigglypuff had a great time being light, being a balloon, and just, you know, stomping over everyone. That Yun Link could have given us a lot of trouble, but we get a nice parry up smash to finish it out, and Donkey Kong just wanted to play the aerial game, but we proved to him that we were the better aerial Pokemon suited for the challenge. And yeah, that's another Pokemon in Elite Smash, and honestly, Jigglypuff wasn't that bad to play. I thought Jigglypuff was going to be pretty hard, being light, but you know, I played it safe, waited till the last moment to get that rest kill, and you know what? Honestly, Jigglypuff wasn't that bad to play. It was a really fun experience overall. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below, and pound that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out, and make it a great day, everyone.